In today's video we're going to see about ventricular septal defect and ventricular device closure. The VSD or ventricular septal defect is a defect in the ventricular septum, the wall dividing the left and right ventricles of the heart. This is also known as transcatheter device closure of ventricular septal defect. Procedure. The procedure was done under local or general anesthesia with transesophageal echocardiography and pleuroscopic guidance. Access was via the femoral artery and femoral vein. 100 units per kilogram heparin dose and intravenous antibiotics were given to patient prior to the procedure. The VSD was profiled through angiographic evaluation. At the maximum diastolic phase, the angiography delineated the VSD location, size of VSD, at the narrowest area, and number of defects and their relationship with the surrounding structures. In this case, after crossing the VSD from the left to the right ventricle using a guide catheter, the Terumo guide wire was inserted into any pulmonary artery branch and then snared out from the venous end, making an arteriovenous loop. The delivery sheath was advanced antegradely over the wire from the venous side. The tip of the delivery sheath was then crossed into the LV apex. From that point, the device was conveyed through the delivery sheath under fluoroscopic guidance. The type and size of the device was selected during the procedure based on VSD type and its narrowest diameter. LV and ascending aortic root angiograms were repeated to confirm the final position of the device, to assess any residual shunt, and to confirm the presence or absence of aortic insufficiency.